Welcome back to my channel. I'm NDL Jamer. Today, I'm going to share with you the daily tasks you need to do to get stronger, especially for those of you who are diligent. For those who spend money, just go ahead and buy whatever you like. First, let's farm experience from, from daily quests, main missions, bounties, etc. These are essential because in any game, there are experience points and missions to help you level up quickly. For side quests, every time you level up through main missions, you should prioritize the ones that give experience points first. First. Later on, you can do the quests that offer rewards you prefer. There's no need to complete all the side quests. Only do them all if you have the time. Uh, for those who still haven't managed to download the game, I've included a video here to show you how. Check the description of my video for the download link and gift codes. You'll find links for iOS, Android, and APK. Um, though APK should be a last resort if you can't download the other versions. Also, the game frequently changes its name, so follow the link for the latest download instructions. I'll update the download links on my website to make it easier for you. Secondly, make sure to use up all your Zip and Energy because they automatically regenerate after 5 minutes. As for Zip, if you plan to use it to catch shiny Pokémon with a lure, you should save up a lot because it has a time limit. Thirdly, don't forget to claim your online rewards and supplies. They provide a lot of support. Fourthly, complete the tasks in the phone messages section on the right. These offer a lot of important rewards that are frequently used in the game. Try to achieve 150 points each day. Fifthly, make sure to complete your guild tasks. This part is also very important because there are many rewards and the points you earn can be used to buy items in the guild shop. However, I often forget about this because my guild isn't very strong and there aren't many active members. So choosing the right guild is also important. Sixth, remember to participate in the two Eevee copy events. One takes place during the day and rewards you with a lot of candy to level up your Pokemon, while the other occurs at night, offering a significant amount of gold, nearly 1 million gold and capsules. Seventh, remember to participate in the five-star Terra battles each day. You get two chances daily, so make the most of them to earn more rewards. Uh, additionally, you can join other modes in the game if you're strong enough. As for Star Pokémon, I think you should only use it with UR Pokémon since it consumes a lot of energy but gives too few shards in return. Eighth, make sure to gather ores. If you need ores for a specific UR Pokémon, head to the cave where that Pokémon is found. Typically, near these caves, there will be a place where you can exchange ores for UR shards. You can exchange for one shard per day. Ha <laughs> ha! 
9th, visit the shop in Celadon City to purchase some essential items, as each small shop only has one item available per day. Many people tend to forget this, so I'm mentioning it towards the end of the video. Tenth, participate in these events and try to win as many as possible to earn more rewards. Personally, I don't have much time, so I only play Leader and Arena. Eleventh, go to the Safari Zone to catch Pokemon. You can enter twice a day with a Safari ticket. Inside, there are many UR and SSR Pokemon that are great for newcomers. Personally, I prefer catching Pokemon outside, so I rarely visit the Safari Zone. That's it for the video. There might still be something I forgot to include, so feel free to leave a comment to let me know and help others out as well. Thank you so much for watching until the end. Remember to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you next time.